Hello friends, this video Conic Sections part 2 is brought to you by examfear.com, no more fear from exam. Before watching this video, please make sure that you have watched Conic Section part 1. Now let's study circle in detail. Circle. Circle is a set of all points in a plane that are equidistant from a fixed point in the plane. When I'm saying circle is a set of all points in a plane that is equidistant from a fixed point. That means I need a fixed point. So let's suppose this is a fixed point. This is a fixed point. Now I say circle is a set of all points in the plane that are equidistant from the fixed point. So let's suppose I am talking about three unit. So this point is three unit from this is fixed. This is fixed. This point is three unit from this plane. If I draw a line here, I got three three units here. If I draw a line here, I got three units. So there are so many points which are at three units from this fixed point. You see this point is also 3 units from this point. This point is also 3 units from this fixed point. This point 3 units. This point 3 unit. This point 3 unit. This point 3 unit. If you see I'll write here this P1, P2, P3, P4, P5, P6, P7, P8, P9, P10, P11, P12, P13, so all these points, if you see, are are from a fixed distance, uh, from th are three units from the fixed point. So if you see, P one is three unit distance between P one and fixed point is three units. P two and fixed point is three units. P three and fixed point is three unit. Similarly, you take any point. You take P eight fixed point distance three unit. So if you join all these points, or you, you draw more points like this, because it is set of all points. So whatever possible points are there, you point draw all the points. So if you draw all the points, draw all the possible points which are at three units from fixed point, what you will get is a circle. So here also what we get is a circle. You see this, this is the center, center is the fixed point. So in our case, center is the fixed point. And we have so many points P1, P2, P3. And if you see the distance between P3 and O is same as distance between P2 and O is same as distance between P1 and O. And this common distance is called radius. So what is circle? Circle is a set of all points because this point is called circle. Set of all points that are fixed, that are having or that are equidistant from a fixed point that is center. So the fixed point is called center. and set of all points is called circle and the distance between the point and the fixed point is called radius correct let me repeat once again the fixed point is called center and the set of all points which we get that are equidistant from the center is called circle the set of all points so you join all the points you get circle and the distance, the fixed distance is called radius. Now, let this point be x, y. We want to find the equation of circle. Let this point P be x, y and let the center be h and k. Correct. Now the distance between distance between OP2 is equal to x minus h whole square plus y minus k whole square root this is the distance correct and we are saying this distance is nothing but radius is equal to r correct and going by the definition also if you if you square this what you get is x minus h square plus y minus k square is equal to r square and going by definition also we are told that circle is not nothing but set of all points which are equidistant from a fixed point. So we have taken fixed points h and k and we have taken any point x, y that are that are that is having a distance of r from this h, k and that is the equation we have written x minus h whole square plus y minus k whole square that is distance of any point x, y and that is x that is r square. So this is the 
equation of circle very simple x minus h whole square plus y minus k square is equal to r square and we have derived this by the definition itself the definition says circle is a set of all points in a plane that are equidistant from a fixed point in the plane so the the fixed point is hk from fixed and we have taken any point xy the distance of xy from hk is root of x minus h square plus root plus y minus k square and this distance is a fixed point this is the fixed distance and we call this fixed distance as radius that is r so we have says d of op2 is equal to r we square this equation and we got x minus h square plus y minus k square is equal to r square and that is our equation for the circle now, now let's take some examples of circle the question says we have to find the equation of circle with center 0 0 and radius r so we know the formula of circle is x minus h square plus y minus k square is equal to r square the center is 0 0 h k is the center so it is 0 0 so it is x minus 0 square plus y minus 0 square is equal to r square so the formula is x square plus y square is equal to this is the formula of our circle. We'll take one more example. We have to find the equation of circle with center minus 5, 3 and radius 7. Again, we'll use the same formula, simple formula x minus h whole square plus y minus k whole square is equal to r square. Now, here this is h, this is k, and this is r. So we can say x minus minus 5 whole square plus y minus 3 whole square is equal to 7 square. So what we get is x plus 5 square plus y minus 3 square is equal to 49. And this is our answer. You can simplify also, but this will also do. So very simple, we have to find the equation of circle. We have to just use the formula x minus h square plus y minus k square is equal to r square. You need not remember this formula also. You just need to remember that in this circle, we are saying that the distance between hk, this fixed point, and any point xy here, any point xy is fixed, and that is r. So x minus h whole square plus y minus whole square root is nothing but the distance between these two points, and that is equal to r. You square both the side, you get this equation x minus h square plus y minus k square is equal to r square. Don't just mug up the formula. Try to understand why we have got this formula. And this formula is very simple, very logical. You just have to say that distance between x, y and h, k is r. And that is the formula. Thank you. Visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos, try free online tests, get the best quality study materials, study from the best tutors and mentors and much more. Thanks once again.